Everyone, it is hard to believe we are now in the middle of September. We have now sent our oldest son back to UT for his second year of college about a month ago. And our youngest has started uh, Brentwood High School as a freshman. We also have a, an, another student living with us who is a senior at Brentwood High School and will be living with us for on this next school year. So our lives are always filled with some type of activity. Uh, so I did want to share with you what is going on in the marketplace. And since um, the end of July, middle to the end of July, the buyers are definitely out. Uh, listings are going overall very fast, a little time on the market. And I do have our month of August um, end of the month report to kind of get sales report. So in um, Davidson County, I'm, this is gonna compare the month of August 2019 to uh, August 2020. So the average sales close price increased in Davidson County, $34,000 just that one month over month. And year to date, the average sales price in Davidson County uh, from 2019 to 2020 has increased uh, $24,000. In Williamson County, the average sales price in August 2019 2020 increased $120,000. That is a big amount. And year to date, August 2019 to 2020 in Williamson County, the average sales price, close price, has increased $39,000. Those are some big numbers. So if you are looking to sell, you see the prices are increasing. And thank goodness for uh, the interest rate being a historically lows, the buyers overall are able to absorb some of that increase in price due to the lower interest rate. Uh, we, I'm going to be sharing a couple other videos regarding interest rates and um, taxes in Davidson County on our uh, Facebook page, Shane Campbell Team Facebook page. So uh, you wanna, may want to listen to those and get a little bit of information. And um, that's a wrap for today. Stay healthy, stay safe, and look forward to seeing you soon.